And we'll walk around compound, see some tigers and some peats. Hi. What do you got? What do you got? What is that? Oh my gosh. Is that your toy? Is that your toy? That's a good toy. That's a good toy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want me to come after you? Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Here, give me this. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. I want this. And I am going to take it. I'm going to take it from you. I am not going to allow you to have it. Oh my gosh, you're so strong. You're so strong. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me, 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 give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Look at him. Look how big he's getting. Look how big he's getting. Yeah. But he's still all puppy. He is still all puppy. But he's starting to look a little bit more doggish. Look a little bit more doggish. That's a moth. Leave the moth alone. No, 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 no. Don't eat the moth. Don't eat the moth. Don't eat the moth. No, don't eat the moth. Run. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Gonna try to save you, you idiot. Gosh, you're dumb. I don't think you realize the peril that you're in. Okay, 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 okay. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, there we go. Got him. Get out of here. Alright, bye bye, Mr. Moth. Huh, there he goes. Okay, here. Go get him. Stay. Hi. Hi. Hey, you. How are you? Yeah? Hi, baby. Hi, sugar pie. Hi. Where are you? Yeah, Miss Ray Ray. Miss Raven. Doing so good. Doing so good. But she has been a little bit of a restless. A little bit of a restless girl. A little bit of a restless Ray Ray. I wonder if it's because she thinks that she's not getting as much attention as I think that she thinks she deserves. Of course, there's a lot of activity in the house, and there's people, and she can hear voices. And people come inside, and they see her, and they talk to her. She gets fed, and water, taken care of, and all that fun stuff. But I think that she feels like it could actually be a little bit more. She's like, you know what? Uh, the, the, the treatment is, is good, but I, I think that the interaction could just be a little bit more. And I'm going to, I'm going to give some feedback. I'm going to give some feedback to anyone that can listen. And so she roars. She roars. And I don't know if you've heard leopard roars, but they are they're kind of like these uh these like gorilla noises. They're like big like ooh, 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 ooh. and they're huge. Like it fills up the fills up the room, echoes off the walls. Big big noise. And she'll do that at like midnight. <laughs> She'll do that at like one in the morning. <laughs> Huge noise that you can hear pretty much anywhere in the house. Just <laughs> and then and she she did that like um I don't know if it was last night or the night before, but she started doing that and I came in here and then she looked up and again just the cutest little eyes, little little button nose, and she was like row, row. And I'm like, oh did you hear? <laughs> did you hear me? I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not. Why don't you come over and say hello? Give me some neck scritches. Yeah. Some neck scritches would be very nice. Very nice. <laughs> You're a mess. You're a mess. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, pause the video, transport myself into the compound, and then we're going to get on with the show. Oh my gosh, we are out here now. Look at all of this work. Fences have been stretched upon enclosures. There's Billy and there's Morgan, they're up there. What they're doing is that they're ratcheting. They're actually trying to, because these are 10 foot sections, but the actual pipes go up um, maybe about like 10 foot 3 inches. But 
you know, chain link is, it kind of flexes. It's a little kind of, it's a little forgiving. So if you can, if you can kind of, if you can kind of push and pull on certain parts, then you can kind of get things to fit in areas that they might not have fit previously. So, yeah. But we stretched, uh, stretched all the fence on all of the things. Actually, did all of the fence stretching in one day. Which is awesome. Which was awesome. Isn't that right? It's awesome. Isn't that how your people talk? No. Yeah, it is. You, uh, you New Englanders? Lobsters, huh? Lighthouses? Stephen King? So, yeah, now the big thing is wiring, which is just tedious. It is a tedious task because you got to sit there and think every single, like up here, look. See all that? That's a span like six to eight inches. So, every six to eight inches along horizontal stretches, you have to have wires. That is top and bottom. And then on like vertical stretches, you're going to be going probably every like foot and a half to two feet. Something like that. So yeah, and that's every section. Every, every area. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Cute. There's this little cute girl. She's coming over to see me, coming over to say hello. Oh my goodness. Well, hello, milady. Tips, Fedora. Might I interest you in some libations? I have an ice cold decanter of Mountain Dew ready for you. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Hello, all of you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. I just got off of the Twitter where I was, I was asking a bunch of people like, "Hey, I'm gonna go film some stuff, some webcasty type things. Give me some ideas. Give me some themes." To talk about. So, for this one and the next one, so the Tuesday and the Thursday webcast, we are going to be doing just that. I'm gonna go through, gonna, I got my little list, my little list of notes that people from the Twitter spheres, the pipey spheres, meow, 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 meow. Sorry. But these, these webcasts, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep them tight. I'm gonna try to keep them tight because we still have to feed. We still have to try to get out of here at a relatively early time, a relatively early, reasonable frame of time. Hey, excuse me, 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 excuse me. Can you smell my hat? Yeah? Is that better? Is that better? Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? I took all my hat, took my hat, my sunglasses off. Here you go. What? Oh my goodness. No, it's because I'm not dusting. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Let's get on with it. So these are simply from Twitter. Not from anywhere else. Hi, Mr. Chomp Chomp. Ah, yes. A nice, wonderful butt misting. The mists of butts. Okay, let's actually get our camera positioned a little bit better so you can actually, there you go, better, 
There we go. More in the frame. More in the frame. Uh, I guess the first one is going to be coming from Wild Stow eighty eight and uh, Stevie nine at Stevie nine and at Wild Stow eighty eight. They both wanted me to talk about E three. E three, which is the uh, basically it's just the it's it's the video game conference that they have. It's basically all the big video game companies. They get together. And then they say, like, hey, this is the big stuff. This is the stuff that we're going to, hey, this, get excited. Get excited. Because this is what's coming. A lot of times, it's a bunch of just lies. Lies and baloney. Especially if you're, if you're a video game company that rhymes with B, say... <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Papa Pants. But they'll basically sit there and say, just like, oh my gosh, we've got this video game coming and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna show you this awesome video and you're gonna get super excited and super pumped and you're gonna have the time of your life playing this video game. But what we didn't tell you is that it's also going to be a pay to play thing and then development's going to take a long time and we're gonna make a lot of money off of pre orders. But then the beta is gonna be really glitchy and hardly playable. And actually, when we do roll out the, the game itself, uh, it's going to basically be a shell of all the promises that we said that we were going to put into it So it really is not anywhere near what we said it was going to be sorry Not really sorry because we got your money anyway, and we're just gonna keep on doing this so Deal with it. That's basically That's how a lot of it is so people get so hyped up about the e3 conference for nothing well, I guess you just got to know which ones. Uh, really, the, I, I, I kind of looked, because I, I didn't even really, I didn't even know exactly what was on the docket. What was on the, the E3 docket? I don't because I don't, I don't get too deep in the weeds on that stuff sometimes. I'll, I'll read some of the Cliff's notes, usually after the fact for stuff like this. But when it's before the thing... I usually don't go in there with like, oh my gosh, they're going to announce this. They're going to do this. Video game news. So I did actually, in response to this question, I looked up. I looked it up. And uh, I will say I'm very excited for Cyberpunk 2077. Um, that's going to be, I think, talked about a little bit more. That comes from uh, CD Projekt Red. Or Project Red or something like that, whatever. Basically, the same people that made the Witcher franchise, they are making a whole new, like, huge sandbox game. And it's called Cyberpunk 2077. And it's going to be a futuristic thing. And it is going to be amazing. I haven't even really seen... I mean, look, they, they put out, like, a trailer video years ago that's probably not really going to be much of anything like what the actual game is. But it doesn't matter because they made Witcher, Okay. Arguably the greatest game of all time. Arguably the greatest game of all time. And if they put as much love and passion into this project as they did, or if they even put like half of as, as much love, and maybe 75% as much love and passion, okay? If they at least put 75% as, uh, as much love and passion and dedication into Cyberpunk 2077 as they did into The Witcher, it's going to be an amazing game, okay? It's going to be amazing. Um, I saw that they were gonna, they made an announcement for The Last of Us 2, which Last of Us 1 was awesome. Joel! Cass, Cass! Sass! Cassie! Sass! <gasps> oh my goodness. She's like, I hear him out there. He's talking about video games. He has not asked me to come up. Yes. Hi. I only come out when people want me to come out. I don't just, I just don't hear voices and be like, oh, people. Like, look, no, you've got to actually want me to be here. That's how Cassie works. You know what, Cassie, I think that's a healthy way to kind of go about things. It, it keeps you from becoming like codependent on other people. Keeps you independent. You don't have to, to, to bend to the wills and the whims of 
others, I think that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I think more people should actually live by that example. Speaking of which, actual cherry, or is that actual chenry? My penmanship. <laughs> uh, what is that? Can you read my penmanship? No, nope. well, you're not going to be able to do that. Actual, is that cherry or chenry? I don't know. Anyway, um, she asked, like, can you talk about why Cassie is the best girl? And I think that it's okay. I think she's more than just like squeaks and she's more than just adorableness. She's more than just a bubbly personality. But I think she actually has a lot of approaches to life that are very important, moralistic kind of viewpoints. I think that they're very inspirational for people. I think that they transcend like culture. I think. Uh, that a lot of people can doubt, like get a lot of like kind of ancient truth and ancient wisdom from like how Cassie decides to live her life. Basically, like the type of stuff that you just find out, like just universal truisms bandied back and forth, and myth, and legend. And, you know, this the stuff that just kind of lasts through time. I think that's what Cassie's all about. Mm -hmm. She just kind of just has that, just in her, intrinsically. That's one of the reasons I think that she's the best girl. But it's hard to kind of articulate those points. Hard to articulate those things. What? Um, as far as E3, going back to that, they said that there's not going to be any sort of like uh, talk or showcase or anything like that of uh, a potential PlayStation 5, which, you know, that's uh, slightly disappointing. So it's probably going to have to be E3 2019, but I am a Sony guy, okay? I have made my claim. Other people are like, Xbox, or they're like PC Master Race, or like, you know, and that's fine. And I totally get the PC thing. I certainly, certainly get that. Um, but if you are a console person, such as many of us are. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Nintendo is tremendously good, well-made, um, just highly functional systems and machines. They're tremendously stable. Nintendo is like, Nintendo is reliable. They're never gonna let you down. It's like you can always count on the quality of Nintendo systems. But then there's also, they're, they're like, they're kind of narrow. They're narrowly defined. They only have narrow, con like narrow content choices. Don't get me wrong, amazing content choices. But it's like you can only there's there's they're they're kind of proprietary content. And don't get me wrong, I love me a, a Mario game. I love Zelda games. Those are amazing games. They're amazing franchises. Um, but it's that's their bread and butter, and that's the thing that they do. Great, that's fine. So I guess for like the for for what the hardware can do for the versatility, PS4 is like where I'm at right now, and I will be a PlayStation Five guy. You know, I know what is like Xbox Sicario or something. They're doing like a big crazy thing. I still think Sony's just gonna be better. I just do. Yes, sure, you can ar certainly argue that uh, that. Uh, Xbox's online features are a lot better. That's that's fine. That's fine. Don't mind. I don't mind. I don't care. They all just kind of congregated in that corner. Um, but I guess you know I, I I would be interested to see some of the videos for Metroid Prime, the new one that's going to be coming out. Now this is the thing. I actually totally get the whole notion of Twitch streaming. Yeah, I get it now because like I don't have time to go through and play games, but I love, I love certain franchises and I love certain titles. I love certain characters and it's like, I kind of want to see like what the game is all about. So maybe it's like, I don't have time to actually go through and like really try to hammer out and figure out a game myself. So let's just go ahead and watch someone else who's good at it, run through it. And there you go. Now I get to enjoy this title without actually having to spend the time and invest the money, all that fun stuff. I get it. 
I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a little bit more uh, Twitch streaming myself. Some gaming stuff. Especially when I'm not here at the compound. I'm just back in my apartment. Just me and Sarah, Serafina, my cat. <laughs> it's just me and Sarah in my apartment. I go to work. I go to the grocery store. I come back to my apartment. I hang out with Sarah. I drink Bro. beer. That's and I, I, I like go through I go and I, I, I edit videos and I put like I work a lot as far as content is concerned. Don't get me wrong. I do a lot of that stuff, but yeah, it's kind of a mundane existence. It just it's there's nothing really special about it. So I wonder if I could probably do a little bit of that uh, Twitch streaming. Yeah. Do a little bit of Fortnite. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah, because I was also looking at some of the, uh, because I need to, I, I had to, well, I did get my laptop fixed. Remember my problem with my laptop? Basically, what happened was, um, it's when uh, Windows was trying to do some updates and there were some patches that kind of got a little wonky and it basically just caused my computer to, to just go into like a, a state of prolonged psychosis. So, they were able to work out those kinks, and they were able to get everything all fixed and whatnot. There wasn't any sort of, like, no Chechnyan nanobot terror viruses or anything like that. So that's good. That's good. My financial, my credit score is still good. <laughs> my credit score has been unaffected, so that's good. It's like, you know that, like, okay, all of a sudden my computer just got busted... It's like not working right, and my credit just dropped 150 points. What just happened? What just happened? Oh no! Damn you, Chechnyans! <laughs> Damn you! So, yeah. But I, uh, I was looking, I have an idea for like which which laptop I want to get. And this is the great thing is like, they're making some of these new laptops pretty much as powerful um, as, I guess you could say as certain PCs were just a few years ago. Now they're certainly not as powerful as like PCs that you can make today, but they're making laptops now to where you can like legitimately game on them and stream. And I'm kinda like, I've said this before, I'm kinda into that Fortnite thing. I'm not exactly talented. I'm not gonna say that I'm talented at it. But I think that people would watch it just for the personality. I'm gonna throw in some jokes and whatnot. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got a chug jug. <laughs> uh, we're having fun times, right folks? Right? Okay, let's go and see if we can find ourselves a tactical shotgun. <laughs> would you like to watch that? I think so. I think some people would. Okay, Melissa, Melissa Westfall. Is it gray or gray? Is it G-R-E-Y or is it G-R-A-Y? You know what, Melissa? Yeah, that's, that's, you're asking like legit. These are difficult questions. <laughs> that is a, that is a, whew. I don't, uh, I don't know. Because I think that I sometimes will just like spell either one. Maybe it's like the, the usage in the sentence or the connotation. Oh, we're only going to be staying in the upper for this one. And then we're going to be going to the lower for the next round. And there's more questions. There are more questions. And I'll tell you even what the questions are. Oh, we're going to call that a tease. We're going to tease what the questions are so that you want to, you know, uh, uh, tune in for the Thursday webcast, which is, well, that's, that's gonna be in the lower, and it's also going to be the next round of questions. Yeah, yeah. Marketing. How, how am I doing, Micah? How am I doing? Let's see. Is she gonna peek around the corner? She looks like she's got a little bit of kill play in her. Got a little bit of that kill play. Oh. Gray or gray? Gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. 
Uh, that I, and then I, when I say it, just like you're asking the real questions, like I'm not even really joking. It's just like that's, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Hello, you. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi, sugar pie. You're a pie that is made entirely of sugar. I'm like, this is just a pile of sugar. It's just a, a pile of dry sugar. It's a pie. Like, I think that you need a few more things in order to be able to technically call an item a pie. Hmm. Name them. I think you need to have, like, a certain, like, crust, and the crust needs to be a certain consistency. There has to be a certain shape. There has to be certain kind of, like, covering, you know, like, has to be kind of an, like a, like a, a crust envelope, a crust envelope. There has to be, like, number of parameters and factors. You literally just poured a pile of sugar onto the table, and then you just, like, kind of, you just kind of, like, went like this, like, like that, and you said, exactly, exactly. It's not a pie. Well, I agree to disagree. <laughs> also, Melissa said, hey, you could probably talk about some of the new videos that have been going up onto the carerescuetexas.com Facebook and YouTube page. Melissa has been doing a whole bunch of videos. She's been making a whole bunch of videos that are specific, official, care-centered videos that capture some different things, stories that we were trying to tell. What's going on? What just freaked you out? Oh, it's probably because I was trying to lift up the thing and it, I think it kind of flapped over here and it kind of startled her. So a lot of the videos that a lot of people have actually wanted me to do, hey, let's do some cat facts. So let's do some origin stuff. Can you talk a little bit more about conservation? Can you talk a little bit more about this? Those videos are gonna, they're being made. And Melissa is actually editing them together. Melissa is actually working along with Jamie and Heidi. She took a metric crap ton of raw videos off of, because we had just, we had standalone hard drives and we had a bunch of stuff like in inside of phones and cameras and all sorts of different kind of things. We just gave her huge amounts of video data and now we're, we're, we're filming things specifically and we're sending them to her and she is making videos and they are getting put up onto the carerescuetexas.com carerescuetexas.com YouTube channel. So, so, if you want, you can go and subscribe to the Care YouTube channel. Micah, can you put in one of those, um, one of those like bars, like one of the white bars that kind of, hmm. yeah, like that, like that. So, yeah, that's really awesome. That's a great thing. She's been making a whole bunch of videos and they have been getting posted. They have been getting posted. Okay, so, about the tease. We're gonna tease some of these questions. I'm gonna go into the lower right after we get done filming this. I'm gonna go into the lower and I'm gonna film the Thursday webcast. And we're gonna be saying some stuff from uh, at LOL Jack Who, your opinion on AZA zoos. Uh, from ba -ba -da -ba -da, at mgem146. Any funny mishaps that you've had lately? I've had a few. <laughs> I've had a few. Um, she also wanted to talk about like different things, career advice about trying to get into stuff like this. So we can maybe talk about that a little bit. Um, at Emily K, and it was like K A A A A A A A A A. Weird intern stories. I got a few of those. We'll talk about that. Sure. And uh, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Katie Little 557. She wants me to talk more about like weather forecasting and stuff like that. I guess. I guess. So. Yeah, that'll be the Thursday webcast. That'll be the Thursday webcast. Okay. Very cool. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Go ahead and do the hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you don't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you Thursday. Unless, of course, you watch those fancy casts, then I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.